Hi guys, so today I've decided I'm going to vlog. Um, we have got, first thing I am, we've got to go to the doctor for Isabella. Uh, she's getting her results back for her tummy x-ray to see if she actually is fully constipated or not. Um, and then that will obviously give us a little bit of an indication if she is completely constipated, an indication as to why she has trouble with her poos. Um, and then we have also got OT today. So I thought, why not vlog? Um, I've got Jasmine with me today because I've got no one to watch her. So yeah, it should be an interesting day. It's a bit hot outside, but it's also raining, so it's a bit muggy. But yeah, uh, first off, doctor and then OT. So we have just finished with the doctor and I'm letting the girls have a bit of a play before we leave. Um, the x-ray came back that she's completely, completely, completely blocked up. She actually showed me the x-ray and um, yeah, there's poo everywhere. So... Um, we now have to treat it for constipation. She said that she should actually have a sore stomach, but um, she doesn't. Her belly's fine. But that doesn't surprise me, considering her pain threshold's really high. She can't really feel anything at the moment. Um, anywhere on her body, actually. Uh, so yeah, that's that. We now have to treat her with... They've asked me to give her minoxyl... Minoxyl drops, I think. Um, until she starts pooping properly. I don't know how long that's going to be because she's completely, completely all the way back up. So it'll probably take a while, but um, at least we know. And then she said once she's unblocked, then that sensation should come back properly again and she should start to be able to feel the sensation of pushing. So yeah, uh, fingers crossed. We're just letting the girls have a bit of a play now. And yeah, then we're going to... Head home, have some lunch, and then head to the OT. As per usual, Isabella found some friends to play with. find someone to play with. <laughs> so For a child with um, anxiety problems and social awkwardness, you could call it I guess, she, Isabella always seems to find friends when she goes to play, when we go out anywhere, like in play areas or parks or whatever. I'm actually quite proud of her. I seen her the other day. She and just lately, when we go somewhere, she will um. Hmm. <laughs> She'll actually um, walk up to the group of kids or a child and say, "My name is Isabella. Will you play with me?" So it's really cool. I really love how she's learned to do that. I think school, like um, preschool, has helped her with that. So yeah, she always seems to find friends, which is awesome. You can't ask for much more than that as a mum.
have to touch the food, Isabella, if you don't want to. Just ask mum for a fork if you don't want to touch the food. Just because Jasmine touches the food doesn't mean you don't have to. All right, put the next one in. Good job, you can have, have one, one more. One, we can do this and then we'll have a sweet one. Right, what's next? I want to put it in the middle one right there. What? I want to put that one right there. Okay, put that one. Blueberry chew, tastes chew, like. Chew. Just relax. <laughs> chew. Chew. Slow down. Slow down. Chew. I have to bite it. All right. Do you want me to cut it? I'll cut a small piece. Can you cut a small piece? I'll cut a small piece. I'm going to have this as proof that you do eat it. So next time she says, I don't, I'll go watch the video and I will show you yeah. that you can. <laughs> All right, open up. Come on. Here we go. And then we get to play something else that's fun. Play something else. Yeah, I'm just trying. Maybe we'll build, we'll build something. Okay, put the fork in your mouth. Isabella, sit down. Come on. Cucumber in and then we pack up and we play something else. I'll need the bag. All right, come on, sit down. Come on, I need help to pack up. Sit down. All right, pick up the fork first, or I will pick up the fork. Sit down. It's all right, just let me see, we're going to pack up so we can do the next game. Just leave that thing. Why do you need your next fork? All right, we'll just sit down. That's fine, we'll think about it. Your jaw across. Show mommy how you do across. Across, across. Yeah, we'll do this one. Across. 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 Good job, you did it. Fine, then let's have some time. So I'm home from the OT now. Um. Watching this video again, Isabella loves this video. It's a, a video on pooing. It's a video on using the toilet. She really likes watching it, and it's probably about the 20 millionth time we've watched it just today. What's wrong? What? I can't hear. I'm not very good. You're not very good? Well, what's wrong? Oh, you'll be home soon. Be home soon. So, yeah, we're just sitting here watching that. Back from the OT now. Um, as you can see in the video, she got her eating a sultana. Me? Which was pretty cool. Um, also had her eating some watermelon, tried cucumber, but she wouldn't eat it. But the sultanas, that's going to get her moving because she's all clogged up. <clears throat> So hopefully the sultanas and the watermelon help unblock her with the, uh, I've got to use the mover coal now to put that in her drink um, and some uh, belly massages to hopefully, hopefully that will help. Um, but yeah, she had a good time at the OT. Jasmine came today because I didn't have anyone to watch us, so she came with me. She was all right. Um, I just packed her some food and some coloring in stuff. So that kept her occupied while Isabella did her session. And yeah, that's where the food was. Um, Jasmine was eating the watermelon and the sultanas and cucumber and stuff. And the OT then said, um, for Isabella to eat it and yeah I like the OT she doesn't um, let Isabella get away with anything she makes her do it so 
It's good we needed to get her to do it anyway. We need her uh, eating some sultanas and stuff, try and get her moving. So yeah, uh, we're just, as I said, we're gonna hopefully use that fruit plus the mover coal and some stomach massages to get her moving. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this um, this video, but Isabella keeps on telling me she wants to poo on the toilet, so whether or not that works, I'm not sure. But yeah, she's really she really likes it. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, whatever works, I say whatever works. I just done a workout. I am dying. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I uh, I've decided that. Uh, I'm gonna start working out again because I was looking at the photos from you know how on Facebook they go a year ago today a year ago today I was actually in a bikini and I looked good now not so much so hopefully I can get back into it I'm just yeah giving this some me time you know because I deserve to have a little bit of time to myself and so that's what I'm gonna do hopefully and start to get back to the way I was this time last year sweating like look how red my face is i'm like sweating from every part of my body and now i gotta go get anything from train station having some fish tonight for dinner um the way i cook it is i put a piece of foil down i put the fish down i put some garlic on top of that and then put Onions on top. Normally I put onions on the bottom, but I have forgotten, so I'm going to move them out of the way. Put some onions on the bottom, fish, garlic, and a few more onions back on top. And then wrap it up in a parcel. And put it in the oven. Mm -hmm. We're having fish and broccoli tonight for dinner. Mm -hmm. Trying to cut. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me cooking dinner or preparing dinner. I'm doing basa with onion. Cooks for 20 minutes in the, the oven at 200 degrees. And it's very, very yummy. So, I'm not sure if this is going to make the YouTube page, but it's very, very good. Peace out. One thing I forgot for all those people that have seen it my lights, they're Halloween, they're seasonal, they're only $6 from Woolies. Go out and get some because it's worth all your money. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're going for a walk after dinner. Um, I'm gonna try and walk again, but don't know how long it's gonna last. We've always tried and always failed, but we thought we'd go for a walk up and see Santa's house because it's just around the corner. The girls like going for walks, so thought why not. <clears throat>